what really made this project a little bit more unique is that we were trying to look at low cost solutions to fix um, the congestion issues that we were seeing. My name is Lisa Kuntz. I'm a project manager here in the St. Louis district. The 141 and Route 364 interchange is a diamond with a loop ramp that goes from northbound to westbound 364. We had a really unique situation where traffic was increasing in all directions at this interchange um, due to basically the two corridors expanding. 364 expanded into St. Charles County and then also 141 connected from 64 to 370 and that was new. So we're introducing all this new traffic um, at this interchange. So when we went to go retrofit it, it's really easy to um, lead to really big improvements, flyover ramps, um, bridge expansions, um, but we did not have the funding for that. So that's what really made this project a little bit more unique is that we were trying to look at low cost solutions to fix um, the congestion issues that we were seeing, which were mainly on northbound 141 to westbound 364. Um, in order to solve the problems with a low cost solution, um, we introduced a displaced left. So when you got off, get off the ramp from eastbound 364 and want to go north on 141, you actually will go on the wrong side of the road underneath the existing bridge and then cross over to northbound at the, the north intersection, which is uh, westbound 364 and 141. My name is Dan Saujo. I'm a transportation project designer in the St. Louis district. The displaced left turn ramp was unique in that it required the construction of a special retaining wall prior to the displaced left turn ramp being, being built. Um, throughout the state of Missouri, we typically use either MSE retaining walls or cast in place retaining walls, which build basically from the ground up. But for this project, since the bridge is already there, we needed to have a wall that was constructed from the top down instead, instead of from the ground up. Once the wall was constructed, the ramp payment could then be built. My name is Eddie Watkins, Traffic Operations, and I'm in the St. Louis District. So it creates efficient traffic flow. And what I mean by that is um, it removes two of our heaviest competing movements, which is the eastbound ramp movement and the northbound 141 movement. Um, those are very heavy in the PM. And by uh, creating this uh, displaced left, we're able to move um, that competing movement and reduce the amount of delay for the northbound movement to either continue on 141 or to take the loop rep to go to uh, Missouri 364 westbound. The safety features of the interchange is one that we really wanted to address wrong way driving. Given that this is a new, unique interchange, we wanted to make sure that that was addressed during the design process. And what we wind up doing is we doubled up on our signage, our do not enters and wrong ways. Uh, we also added LED inlay pavement arrows um, into the pavement to give the driver some additional notification um, if they're traveling the wrong way. Also given the uh, abrupt left that eastbound drivers would have to make to go on to, uh, under the expressway, we have added large chevrons to guide drivers through there along with some additional lighting um, to go under the expressway. Lastly, by making these changes to the interchange, uh, and moving that eastbound left over, we are able to reduce the congestion for the northbound movement uh, significantly and reduce their wait time. TISMO is a set of strategies that can focus on operational solutions that can maintain or alleviate the existing system without adding additional capacity. So basically it uses what we currently have in place um, without adding additional capacity. This project did that in a way where we were able to reduce conflicts by removing that eastbound uh, movement into the displaced left. And then also for safety purposes, it reduced the amount of queuing, which reduced the amount of crashes that we have seen related to uh, rear ends and uh, congestion related crashes. 